Okay, this session, I would like to use it for the comparative analysis that we usually do between different cities. You remember we were talking about the differences between different cities. And I would like to use you know the framework that we are developing you know for the for the governance to, to use this comparison. So the, the, the aim is to do the, the comparison. We have almost 50 minutes, unfortunately. We could have more. But if you remember, this was the very first framework that we had at the very beginning. You know, these are the actors, and this is important. Then we discussed this this approach, flowchart, whatever you want, this procedure to do a governance analysis of a system to understand who are the actors. You know, what are the rules of the game? How the actors are incentivized based on you know their, their values and uh, based on who they are and you know what are the rules. Then the attributes of actors, how they are incentivized, you know, results in their action reaction when we study that. And then based on the action reaction, we can analyze the performance. And by this, we can have an understanding of the link between governance and performance. This was the very initial version of the, the framework. Then, if, if you remember in uh, Hong Kong, we had this session which we tried to jointly develop a kind of a framework with the necessary elements to help us compare different governance structures between cities and between different infrastructures. You remember that we, we were brainstorming different, different categories. And the result of that is the framework that I will show you in a minute. And I would like to have your attention because we will use we will use it you know, to, for the comparison. And the comparison will be done by you. So pay a little bit of attention to this. Uh, the basic question for analysis of governance is basically how the rules of the game are shaped, you know, how, how the institutions are set, uh, how these rules have an impact on the, on the interaction of actors, which is the second step. And then the, set, the, the third one is that how these interactions and the rules result in a dynamism in the, in, in the whole system. Because you have a system which goes to a certain direction, and if you want to change it, you have to take into account the dynamics. The basic idea that we have is that we have a governance structure, governance system, which results in something which we call an institutional setup. This institutional setup, I will explain in a minute what we mean by that, results you know, in certain kind of actions and you know, interactions between the actors and results in performance. And what is needed to be analyzed is this part basically, because the you know the governance structure you can observe, the performance you can observe, but here is where we need to to get involved into analysis, try to understand you know how things are different, and we will focus on that in this session. This is the this is the very basic framework that we have. These two layers, which are not with the with the yellow, are the things that you basically observe. Okay. And this level is where you do the analysis. So don't don't get confused with the colors. This is just to make you know to make it understandable what should be observed, what should be analyzed. We basically start with the rules and regulations. You know that there are certain rules and regulations in Mexico. There are you know something in uh, US. There are different di di different places, different rules, different regulations. Then we look at the system necessary relations, as we call it. For example, in the water system, you know the, the relations, the, the relationships, the uh, the activities that should be done are different from an energy system. Okay, in the water you have pumping, you, you have someone who should hold the pipelines. You know there are different stakeholders, you know who are involved in that to give services to industry, to give services to households. And they are somehow different from this, the, the relations in an energy sector, certainly different you know, from the relations in a transport sector. You see, they are different. So this is something that we should understand. Different systems have different you know, role, have different uh, relations inside them, transport, energy, uh, housing, all of them. Rules are different, and the actors are also different. Okay? Their values, their agendas, you know, that's that's something that differs. But to understand how these rules which apply on a, a specific system, energy, transport, water, whatever, 
need some specific actors that are operating that system. Result in the performance, we are, on, you know, we are uh, developing this institutional setup as a framework, which has four dimensions, and this is what we, we were discussing from the very beginning, and this comes from the literature. These are the dimensions that are somehow related to the governance and performance of infrastructures. The first one is the social dimension. Now, how do you set the how do you how do you set up your institutions in terms of you know the social inclusivity, considering basic rights? You now here in US you don't consider ha having access to water basic rights, you know they should pay. In some other places, even if you don't pay, they do have to provide. Okay? So the way that you set your institutions have a social dimension, have an economic dimension, you know, who is benefiting who should pay the cost. Here it's a totally privatized company, you know, privatized system, for example, the water. I did refer to the example of water because Janice explained that. Mm -hmm. Remember, everything is allocated based on the market structure. We develop something, it has a price that people pay for that. Almost there is no cross subsidization in this system, but in other systems you have a lot of cross subsidization, right? This is an economic decision that you have to make. You know, I will get some money from the pocket of energy company, put it in the pocket of water company, or their electricity bills, and so on and so forth. Uh, then the, all the transaction hazards, you know, who is taking care of that? I make contract, a long-term contract with the private operator, and I face with whatever hazard I have. They might terminate the contract, they might meet for you know renegotiation of the fees, or I just have a public utility company that just do whatever I'm, I'm telling you. Then we have a political dimension. You know, how much this institutional setup results in representation of public interest? And these are all linked together. So, for example, in an economic, you know, imagine an institutional setup, which the economic dimension is totally market oriented. So the market decides, you know, how much the tariffs will be, how much services you are providing. This is not, you know, the public entity that tells, you know, what should be done. So the, the, the public interest is less represented, at least in the political terms. It is translated into market incentives, you know, the prices that they are willing to pay. But this is not the normal, you know, a public entity that protects the interest of the public. The, the issue of accountability and transparency are important, and they are all linked together, as we said. You know, when you do, for example, cross-subsidizing, then how is the transparency and accountability? You pay something for someone else, and then you are not very much accountable. And you, as the head of, for example, Department of Water, you know, will be in trouble when the guys in the Department of Energy are not doing their job well, because you do a lot of cross-subsidizing. And this is an economic decision, but results in some political outcomes. And the technological dimensions. How much you give the opportunity to the actors to learn, how much you give them the opportunity to start innovating. Here, Janice again. You know, she said, I'm not very much in favor of subsidizing the new, the new technologies to grow up. If there is a market demand, they will go up. But in Germany, you say, no, I will, I will protect the wind you know, the, the wind energy sector, you know, to, to grow it up. And, and this is this is a decision that, you know, you make with all the consequences, the social dimension, economic dimension, political dimension, to enhance the innovative capability of the whole sector. And then the integration capabilities as well. When you unbundle all different parts of the infrastructure that you have, you know, someone owns it, someone operates it, you know, and many different infrastructures are working in a city, then how much can they be integrated? You get the point? <laughs> so this institutional setup, which is a result of what rules you put there, on which system, and who are your actors, will result in a set of incentives, which is you know which can be which can be uh, deducted from the setup. When then you have, for example, the total marketed system. You know, with less social inclusivity, you know, very, very clear public transparency, accountability, economic dimension, everything is allocated by market. Now, this creates a set of incentives for actors, you know, who are profit maximizers to get into the, to get into the, into the game. 
these incentives based on the capabilities of the actors and how much they are interested will result in their actions and reactions. For example, in US, you set the whole system as a market structure, you have very competent, and this is again, I refer to Jack, the, the water industry in US is a very professional, professionalized industry. So you have actors who are technically capable to use these potential incentives and start you know, collaborating with each other and they will result in performance. The same might not, have, might not happen you know, in other countries. For example, not, you know, this is not a correct example, but imagine the United Kingdom. The structure, the institutional setup is more or less the same, everything is privatized, but you don't have that much of you know, competent actors who can use this incentive to provide the performance that you need. So one system can fail, one system can go up based on the capabilities of the actors. We are clear? And in the middle of this, this link, you know, there are many other factors. The characteristics of the physical infrastructure is important. You, know, you set up an institutional setup, you know, privatize everything, but you have a very old infrastructure system. The incentives that an actor has to come to the game in an old infrastructure system is different from a very new one. In Dubai, you know, there are other incentives. Everything you know is making money because the cost of maintenance is still low. The infrastructure is new. You don't have losses. But for example, in UK, you have an infrastructure of 100 years old. So the way that people can make profit is different. And also the contextual factor, the population, density, all of them, you know, affect on how these incentives are perceived by the actors. You might have the perfect incentive, you know, for an operation, like in Detroit, you know, the market economy, the incentive is there, you can capture all the benefits. But because you don't have, you don't have any population or enough density, this will not be recognized as a real incentive. You know, and here you see it's a potential incentive. So they don't consider it as a real incentive to, to start working. But they will work, come and work in Chicago. Because there is population, there is density. And this is, this, is, this is what we look at as the general framework to link governance and performance for urban infrastructures. So this, this layer basically brings the characteristics of infrastructures and the locality of the place. This is pure or not, you know, analysis, and this is what you have in the reality, you know, in the in the in the governance area. And this is, you know, there are some feedback loops as well, which make the whole system dynamic. So the industry, the water industry in US, from the time that they start privatizing it, you know, changed a lot, you know, in the past 20, 30 years. Because the set of incentives that we provide will make some of the actors to go and invest more, you know, and improving their efficiency because this is not a lazy market anymore. They have to improve their capabilities. So it results in their capabilities in the long term, you know, they will better recognize the potential incentives, you know, and they, they can develop better performance. The way that they understand and start acting and reacting will have an impact on the characteristics of the infrastructure. How much you incentivize them to, to do new investment. Again, Janice was the infrastructure actors are always very much into making new investment because they make the money here. Okay? But there is a regulatory body that doesn't let them to, to invest more than enough in the infrastructure. So the way that you set the you know the, the agenda here and how how these act, these players also work results in the change of the infrastructure. If you let them on their own, the infrastructure will become a very new infrastructure in five ten years. If you control them, it will it will be maintained in the right in the right level. And if you don't provide any incentive, there will be lack of investment, and you will have a very old age infrastructure. And finally, the way that you get the performance will result you know, in changes in these two layers. If you provide better, for example, transport, I use the transport. If you provide better public transport services, then more population will be willing to use the public transport because there is a quality service that they can use. 
the actors might become much more you know, interested in the whole market because of this, uh, this dynamic that they have. And also, some actors will get a, will get a power deal. You deliver a very good you know, uh, transport service to the city, then those who are in charge of the public transport will get power in the hierarchy. They, they can set their agenda. They can dictate what they want to do because you know their service is you know consumed by a large number of people. So the whole system will evolve as we go on. The rules and the regulations, the characteristics of the actors might change. Also, the contextual factors. This is what we try to what we try to use to 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 make the link between between governance and performance. And as you see here with all these arrows, these dimensions are different. You know, are, sorry, are linked to each other. And what I want to you, what I want you to do in the next slide, very quickly, is that we would like to compare these five different cities based on the elements that we have in the framework, if you if you got them correctly till now. The framework is clear for you. So what I would like to do with you is to fill this, fill this table up, and then we will find out whether it really makes sense to have an institutional setup. What do we mean? Is it a social dominant institutional setup? Maybe in Mexico. Is it a very economy dominant institutional setup? Is it an authoritarian, you know, institutional setup with a, a strong focus on politics? I don't know. Maybe, maybe in Istanbul, for example. But we would like to see how these elements are different. The values, the agenda, the agendas of the actors, the institutional setup, the characteristics of the legacy system. Uh, Dubai is different from many other cities because the whole system can be what does it mean in terms of in terms of performance, also the actors and the contextual factors. Good? In which system? We use this. Let's, let's just do it in a in a very broad level. It's it's not correct, you know, to do it to do it in a very general general way. But 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 let's assume that the infrastructures in different, you know, in these cities are more or less in the same situation. This is not a totally correct, you know, assumption, but it will make it very complicated to talk specifically about water because not everyone is totally aware of the water system. But you can say. You know, the, those who are active in infrastructure of my city, because here, you know, I don't have the rules, regulations, and also the system necessary, for, you know, characteristics, because otherwise we have to go to a specific sector. But, but as in a general level for different infrastructures, what are the main values and agendas of the infrastructure providers? You know, those who are active in that sector, the institutional setup, Generally speaking, then the legacy system characteristics, a city you know, which is 500 years old is different from a city which is 50 years old. The contextual factors, more or less the same, actors, actors here and the capabilities, and then you know, how does it result in certain performance? And we would compare these five different performance entries. So to do that, we just start filling the Filling the table together, and you have to take the lead. You have to you have to fill the you have to fill the table. I will just write them down. Mohammed, yes. Values, agendas of actors. What do you want us to? For example, the values we have not explained. Yeah. Uh, in a country like in in, in United Arab Emirates. The main, the main agenda of almost all the actors is more close. Okay, we want we are a very pro close, you know, entity. We want more close. Here, in uh, for example, in Guadalajara, you know, the main values of the actors is to is to for example, reduce the reduce the lack lack of services, reduce the poverty of the to serve the people who are not capable to pay for it. In US, maybe it's not correct, but you know, in Germany, for example, if you go, sustainability, you know, we want everything to become much more sustainable, you know, much more environmentally friendly. 
these values are different in different places, and you know we can we can we can come up with some some general level of distinction between different cities. Good. So let's start with the with the table. We have almost 20 minutes to fill it. It's not a hard job. We already did a lot of this, you know, till now. We compare these different cases. Now it will become much more classified categories. For Istanbul, values, agendas of actors, mega projects, super group, values, uh, it differs from, uh, from party to party, but not a side, much more political, uh, I must say. The ruling party values are present. Mm -hmm. Agendas of the actors is to you know maximize the profits from Istanbul so that they can pay back so that they are able to like distribute it to the okay. to the Turkey side and also uh, make Istanbul a global competitive city. Okay. I, I just put mega projects. Global Istanbul yeah. and make it Istanbul the engine of the car. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Hong Kong efficiency. Okay. Go for the yeah. car for yourself. It has to be social. Social. Yes, it's social. And political goals. But what's their main equity? Equity that increases the. Oh, and, and also that. I don't. I'm not sure that how the government is trying to be equal. <laughs> what's that? You know, you, you, you know, you're living there. Think about it. I try to. But I'm just a citizen. I don't work for the government. But uh, what I see is making, making more participation, including the mm -hmm. citizen in the participation, giving them need, so need millions, how, how can I say, to participate more. Um, some of these things are theoretical. Yeah, but I'm trying to, to provide services. Uh, it, it, we could say uh, that is the engagement of the people. Social inclusion, I believe, yeah, to, 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 to bring the society into the into the into the process. Engagement, inclusion, more or less the same. Dubai. Close. Okay. Can I just label all of them go? Business, real estate, tourism are all two. two. Well, it's two not it's I think it's diversified. They want to not be dependent on the oil. All the different. Okay. So it's the but, diversification. But economic that's, you know, just, 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 you know, because this, this is a practice you have to do also in your job very much. Now, keep it in the level of analysis that you have. Here we are talking about city actors. So diversification is much more national. Now, those who are working on infrastructure of city, here is about infrastructure. Okay? So, diversification is something that they are doing, but it's not exactly what is the, what is related to the infrastructure. Because the one who is providing public transport, you know, he's not trying to, to bring the knowledge act, you know, knowledge knowledge workers or or the one the guy who is providing water or the guy who is providing energy. You know, there is someone else who tries to uh, who tries to do diversification. But how do you economic and whole financial growth? Good, yeah. Much more clear. Good. Chicago, Detroit. Markets oriented. Engagement. Co markets. Um, 
yet, but what do they want to do? You know, what 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 market? The, the private sector will solve all the problems. Sorry. Private sector will solve all the problems. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I'm not sure about this because in the lecture we saw that they are trying to involve universities, uh, uh, stakeholders to. Can we say revive the economy? That's revival of the economy, okay, maybe. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Have you noticed that they. Why to leave all to the private sector? I, I, I didn't realize that. No. Yeah, no. I, 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 but we had yeah. signs of that as well. Yeah. You know, uh, that this is two constitutions, this is this is the market, you know, and then everything should be done. The government should not do For anything. For example, the future of the Detroit. Yeah. Yeah. They have big projects. The government is not involved in it. It's a private thing. Private led at least, you know, this yeah. is not kind of government led. Come on, is it is it future plan of the city and the government is not involved? It's no, I think the the no, I think the government is involved. Because yeah, no, so they are the value, let me do it the other way. What is your observation about the values of actors in Detroit? That's that's a better way, you know. I think that the government is the one who wants yeah. to be a part. A part. And let us yeah, leave, leave, leave the action, the, leave, yeah, the leave, action. It, leave it to the private. That's you know, not to the private, nice. not the, the university, to the everyone that who can bring some ideas to, okay. but not be part of, not just to be in private. Okay, I don't know. The private or you know maybe non government, non public, non government. Then the setup. Now we talked a little bit about the, the dominant value, let's say. The institutional setup, which is very much, you know, coming with, with, if you remember the slide, the institutional setup is the result of the rules that you have, the values of the actors that you have. Okay? So the setup is related to this, and this is, you know, what, what, what we, why, why we broke down. So for the Mahara, the institutional setup is very much, you know, in which direction? I just want you social. to choose social, one of the four dimensions. Political, I think. Social. Social, political. Istanbul, the institutional setup is which one is dominant? Political, political economical? Economical. Uh -huh. Hong Kong, which one is the dominant? The dominant the dominant is the political dimension, the social dimension, the economic dimension. Mm -hmm. And Detroit, Chicago, which one is really uh, Social, political, and economic. I... The institutional setup is, you know, lean towards social. You know, they really care about social ah, inclusivity no, no, no. or. Okay. I think economic. They do. Inclusivity. Yeah. So which one you 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 have to you have to think and choose. You know. Think. This is something that we should be able to do at the end of you know every month to, to be able to understand the differences between different governance structures. Why does it result in different performance? Economical, political. Economic, I think it's for sure. Political, I'm not so sure, but we can think about it. Yeah. Economic, political. It's a very economic driven politics, but but it's it, it becomes a part of the politics as well because they don't want to interfere to yes. the market because of the political consequences. Or if you do it, then you are accused of being you know socialist. This is this is a bad word here. 
the social institution. Okay, so that's why They don't, they don't like it, you know, too. <laughs> to call them. Oh, okay. Okay. They don't like it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the next one is uh, the value of 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 the value the the legacy system characteristics. What is the value what is the main characteristic of the current infrastructure? It is old, it is sprawl. Sprawl. And how old is it? Is it old or new? Uh, in the new developments, new, but in the, the, the main the infrastructure. The main is old. Then Istanbul, how is the legacy system? Hong Kong? New. New. Istanbul new, I'm not that sure. I'm not so sure. No, exactly. In transition, I would like to put it down. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we are talking about infrastructure here, right? What? To buy it's new. 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 It's in transition or it's new? New. Just one. New one. Like, new one. But, but you know, it's new. Sure. Then Detroit, Chicago, I think. All right. All right. The contextual factors in Guadalajara, what are the main contextual factors that result again you know, on the performance of the infrastructure? The contextual factor, I mean, you know, how much population are using that, how much dense they are. What is their attitude, you know, to use public services? In some places you have pure water, but people like to, to buy the water. In some places they don't, you know, they don't have anything else to buy. Is try to say segregation, the kind of related communities? Yeah. Okay, segregation is I'm, one thing. I'm not sure too much. Maybe after they build their other spaces for the other cities, I can be more clear about that. I don't right. understand. But you don't have density, then I can I can help you. Low density is an issue. Because they are too precise. If you have sprawl, yeah. density. No, these are all, you know, these are logical steps that you make, you know, to, to make it clear, you know, for people to understand which part should be changed if you want to do it. Then Istanbul, the contextual factor? Increasing population every year, four hundred thousand more people. So this is unique. Increasing the level of life. Low level of demand. Low demand in terms of low level of low density. Low demand. How you call it? How people are satisfied with everything. How you call it? Not satisfied. So what do you mean? Mean that. Always want more, and when you throw something at them, si you say, yes, así, thank you. Como no es, increasing si demand. Increasing demand for services. No. Hong Kong, what was the main contextual factor? That was super density. What else? Super centralized. But this is this is this is led to the contextual factors. Restrictions is a lot, you know, on the on the economy, on the on the on the regulation rules. Maybe we are not so sure about yeah. what this means. What this means? Okay. Maybe that's hard for us to. to sure. Get. Hong Kong, the contextual factor means, you know, what are the specific characteristics of that city? You know, which is going to use the infrastructure. Okay. Imagine, for example, you know, just just, just imagine. The, the same infrastructure in Hong Kong is just moved and put in Guadalajara. Okay. What is different between Hong Kong and Guadalajara 
in use of that infrastructure. They also, have, they also have this British culture. Mm -hmm. and they're not buying real things. Yeah, but can you translate to the infrastructure? The use of the capacity. Okay. So, if we had the same system, I guess we would have. Move Hong Kong to Guadalajara. Hong Kong is like in Guadalajara. The same, sure, the same the infrastructure. But the difference between Hong Kong and Guadalajara is the density. They move Hong Kong to Istanbul. What's the difference between Istanbul and Hong Kong? It's what is so, different. The population is because in Istanbul there's a population is increasing. Yeah. Okay, the potential factor is that the demand is increasing. So it's the Hong Kong, you know, Guadalajara, what's that? No, it's low density only. Anything else? I I remember, but I don't want to. In Guadalajara? Yeah. Yeah, I think. The culture also, you know, you said people want to, to have their car, to have their home, to have their land. Cultural issue. But you know, what is that cultural issue? When when you want to put an argument somewhere, you know, you should not just tell them cultural you know. Cultural issue that people, you know, are very pro ownership. We want our land, yeah. our piece of land. Yeah. And consumist, I don't know if it's a book, but consumist, consumist, okay. Maybe, maybe we can put it on this ownership. They, okay. they want to. Okay. Compared to Hong Kong, that people are okay with, you know, sharing the car, sharing, sharing the land, sharing the. Then Dubai. What is the main contextual factor? You think? Which affects the use of, you know, the infrastructure? You have high density in Dubai as well. You sure. have you have two parts, I think. The One is very is highly dense, there. the other the is other kind is of an no, sprawl. No, but, no. but in general, I think you have higher density than Guadalajara because even the sprawl is four story buildings. You know, but we are talking about Dubai or the seven Emirates? Oh, Dubai, 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 Make the difference for Dubai and Sharjah. There is, there is one. I think there is it one. It can be that the the government provide the all the services to to all okay. citizens. The government take care of everything. Okay, but for the government, it's only for the locals, not for the. That is that's a discussion we can have. But you know, we I think in this we can agree that there are available services for the for the citizens. There are not no, the way for the citizens. There are available. The citizens, you know, nobody. you can have a house. Yes. So we have but segregation here. Yeah. Yeah, but in China you don't have transportation service. You know, for the citizens. For, for, the citizens. for the citizens, you know, who are emirates, they can usually yeah. if they can usually afford a car because the government support, they can afford a house, they can afford the bills. But you have segregation Yeah, that's the fine. But, but segregation in terms of using the infrastructure, what yes. does that mean? The only the locals have mm, the the money to to get all the services and the other ones no, they do have, but uh, you, the, the, the services of the airports are not, uh, I don't want to talk about free or not free. Okay. No, you have no. to pay for the services for the, for the not locals. For the locals, they don't have to pay for the services. Yeah. So but, uh, you know, maybe there is a dividing 
in the ability to use it. In the moment you service. talk about locals and non locals, this is segregation. Yeah, that's fine. You know, we can label this segregation, but you know, this is exactly not what results in the change in using the use the name that they all have to No partisanism. Yeah, this is the name they use. Yeah, you know. But it's not uh, a specification of discrimination. It's about subsidizing. No, no, no. I mean, I, yeah. the government has to subsidize services, all types of infrastructure, for the people need or for some people. Yeah. Yeah. Is it considered segregation or not? You know, it, it depends on the on the cultural perspective. For some cultures, you know, that's that's segregation. That's that's no. that's discrimination. For some, it's the, the other way of allocating. Let's resources. call it neopatrimonialism. <laughs> <laughs> but something like, like that. For example, the government gives houses for all the citizens. Okay, they could they all give ownership. Do the government have to give it to everybody? Come to unite them. Everybody has to come to UAE. That's a political the decision that they make. But for the moment, we can use, you know, there are different treatments for using services. You know, some people use the services in a, in a way that the others, you know, use it in the other way. They get subsidies, for example, for using, you know, the water network. The others do not get it. You know, whether it's good, it's bad, but it should be done, not done. You know, that's, that's a political decision that every country can make for its own. And that's the thing. But for, for use of infrastructure, for example, the metro of Dubai is used mostly by expats because the residents can afford a car. You know, and it impacts on the way that people are using, on the, on the tariff they can pay. So we just focus on the elements that has an impact to the question that we look at. You know, there are many other things that we can include, but you know, it will just you know, distract us from focusing on what we need. This different treatment has an impact on the way that the, the infrastructure is performed. Mm -hmm. Good. And then for Detroit, Chicago. Uh, is it a contextual factor? Chips or okay. like the private sector has to do the Okay. so that I think okay. Okay. Anything else maybe? Yeah, or you just build on this if you got it? The ratio. Yeah, the ratio yeah, the, the, the ratio is again, you know kind of a different treatment, but you know, whites and blacks can both use the services. There is no difference you know, on how much they should pay. In another level, you know, they get more money, the rest do not get that much of money. But I agree, the race is, is part, of the pro part of the problem, but maybe not exactly in use of the infrastructure. No, it is in the use, I think. Maybe, maybe, you know, the poverty is an issue, you know. A big poor, you know, racial, you know, let's, you know, translate it in a, in a factor that relates to, to use of infrastructure. Being a black or white in nature does not, you know, result in discrimination in using sex for the moment. So, so. Black. Black. Now you can use a public bus or you can have access well, to water. Uh, but probably there are some services that it's different to life. They are different, but is it just you know you tell people that you are white, you go to this school, you are black, you go to this school? This no. is not, not saying, not saying, saying but you raise the class. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Okay, so the race is an issue that's just been there. <laughs> no, this is this is this is just to make it up, and then you have to do a lot of synthesis to, to come up with something. But something else which was here is to meet density. Lack of services? Lack of public services? Yeah. Even basic ones? Lack of services. Again, yeah. yeah, lack of service is service. the performance. Okay. You know, the performance of this system is that you don't have enough services or the quality is bad. Okay. You know, we are trying to separate as much as we can. Anything else that is really important, decrease you know? Decrease of population? Decrease of population, yeah. 
Increasing population here, increasing demand of. Like, yeah, in Chicago? No, no, here. Yeah, here, we mean in Detroit, not Chicago. The actors, the actors in terms of their capabilities uh, in Guadalajara. In Guadalajara is community. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, the actors citizen. who are going to use this incentive, for example, the actor in public transport, are they really competent? They are global players with a lot of resources. So it's not who the actors? No, this is the characteristics of the actors. How much competent they are, what is their strategy, they want to grow globally or they just want to take care of so their business? in Guadalajara could be engagement? No, no, maybe, yes. maybe I'm not clear with the term. No, but give an example, please. Yeah, yeah. But I said, you know, in Guadalajara, this is the example. The actor is not supposed to become a global player in public transport or in operation of water. In Paris, the operator of the public transport wants to become a global actor. So their strategy is different. The capability of you know, uh, IETT in Istanbul to operate a complex system, you know, they have quite a lot of knowledge, capabilities to operate a complex system, which, for example, I don't know, in other cities, in for example, as well as the horror, just as an example, you know, that capability does not exist in the in the public transport you know, operator. These are the differences between actors. What that I mean. You know, that's, Local. That's the, that's the about, uh, yeah, capabilities. Well, how is local? They are the only thing about local level. Local actor? And what is their attitude? They want to become a regional player? Anyone? No, I know that because because they are now operating a lot of other facilities. In, you know, in Qatar they operate in, in Saudi Arabia. They want to become a regional regional actor, not a global maybe for the moment. But they want to become regional and they be to me, they are also competent because they bring the targets to you no. Know. But I don't see it right enough, uh, because, for example, they say that for everything that you are going to do, who I is going to do, they want the best. Yeah, no? They want the best, you know, and this and is what I mean, put, what I put, you know, they are already competent actors. But they really do not want them to come, you know, operate the transport of, you know, cities in North America. Transdev, which is operating, you know, Paris, wants to operate North America as well. But the RTA, you know, the, the, the Road Transport Authority of Dubai do not want to become a, at least for the moment. It's only, uh, no, but only the transport. local. Yeah, and but they do Saudi Arabia, they do Qatar, they do Kuwait, you know, for the Arabic region, you know, they want to, they want to become the, the role model. Yeah, yeah, but they are not interested in to in to prepare people to 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 be the best. No, they we say that that. they want they want, for example, they they wanna uh, make a build uh, the best building with the best technology. They bring who in the world have it. That's what I'm saying. The main actors. They don't have many actors. Yeah, but but maybe you didn't get the, the whole Dubai because they bring the private actor, but they become a, a strong actor as well. Now you have MR, now when you want to make the first tallest building, you bring all the consultants. But they try to absorb a little bit of these capabilities and become actors themselves. I now so. now there are because there are six holdings. You need to go to their future. They they really try to build the capabilities. This is not that they just bring people and they go out. Do you remember the guy came from New York? Yeah. He just spoke about the actors. Yeah. What he said, that the main actor, the government actor, where he showed the entities, and this entity belongs to the government. Even some private sector entities that government belongs to the government. I think, I yeah, you know, now it's not only about Dubai. Think of the, the others, you know. It's not about, you know, saying Dubai is a good model or a bad model. No. But uh, more broadly, just, just focus on energy. 
What's up, Joanna? No, sometimes we focus too much on the city. You know, now we focus too much on the no, We don't they, need they, to focus too no, much on the No, but the, you say it's about the city. So sometimes it's about the city and sometimes it's about. Fine. You know no, what I'm trying to do is to is to tell you to what? to to fill all the fill, you know all the all the boxes. Yeah, but they well, we are not agree with the the Dubai one. So which one do you not agree? They are last. I, I think that we, we think that it's local also, not so I, 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 had, I had this, you know, you know, I, I gave you the example that they are operating Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is not the local city of Dubai. No, Saudi Arabia is a region. But it's from what we get in the module. Yeah, but we get it from the module as well. I didn't realize that Saudi Arabia, that's the car that... <laughs> We, they are acting like a, like a region. I know. Dubai, the companies in Dubai are are going in the region. You know, are operating in the region. We had it in the module. Their, their, their plans is to cover the region. And we had it in the module. The services they provide, they want to make it in Saudi Arabia. And why don't they do in in Sharjah in uh, they the other countries? RTA, you know, which is the Dubai. It, RTA is for Dubai, yeah. RTA is now also doing for Abu Dhabi. You know, they are planning a, a rail road, you know, for Abu Dhabi. They are helping also a little bit Sharjah. This is not that you know they they do all the things for the for their region, but you know they are very aggressive. They go to different countries to different areas. There are challenges, but yeah, the end is there. This is the how they think. No, their strategy is not to only focus on Dubai. That's 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 the message. Global. 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 And you see, the guy was also in Hong Kong. They are in global players, and you don't have many global players in the world. There are, you know, some companies that you have them in the network. But RTA, you know, in Dubai is not focused only on Dubai. No. The guy in Guadalajara is focused on Guadalajara. But you know, that, that the guy in Dubai is not global. Is not very local. <laughs> this is what we call it regional. We were talking about infrastructure, right? Yeah. We followed with this. So it is like it is in the moment we go to the module, or it is in the moment of the plans. Because if it's in, in, this in is the about, plans, this is about now the, we have to change the Guadalajara because it will not be local. It is local at the moment we get there. I think. Okay, fine. Uh, I, I have to go and read the card. We, we okay. continue this tomorrow. But this is this is something that we need to to, to start thinking. You know, this this is hard. You know, you have to to, to make categories. You have to decide. To, but I think it's useful to do it tomorrow. Let me bring the guy from Transdev, and there we can, you know, Joanna, ask the guy from Transdev, you know, how global they are, and you know, what is what is a global actor, what's a regional actor, what's a local actor. You really get a feeling of, you know, what does that mean, you know, to, to, for different actors. Good. Let's get your stuff. Please don't go out because then we lose much more time and the guy is here. So there is a Pakistan. You go to Amor. Amor is three, four countries. You go to Sports. You go to Sports. You go to Sports. How do you? Yeah, but you have to this be more open. This is the 